Hey lovely people, I saw this on my news headline on the 11th of May 2023 and I said I was going to share it but it is what it is, you know how it is to be a family woman. So it says UK to cut down the pendant visa as migration rises. You know, for anybody who comes to the UK, man, woman and you're married, the first thing you think about on entering the UK or if possible why you're coming is to come along with your family but now it's saying they want to cut down on dependent visa as migration rises so we're going to be talking about everything about that in today's video because it's really important you are aware of it and the reason is because when you are aware of something you become proactive I don't know when this is going to start but this is like a speculation because when things like this start coming up on headlines, you just have to, you know, prepare your mind, prepare yourself and know what to do. Okay. So without wasting any time, let's dive directly into the video. But before we do that, my name is Violet Okolocha. I'm based in the United Kingdom. I practically work in the United Kingdom. I'm a registered nurse. All right. Let's dive directly into the video. <laughs> Ryan Little. <laughs> Guys, welcome back to my channel. Like I said, UK to limit international students dependent visa as migration rises. This was published precisely May 11, 2023. I'm going to be leaving the link in my description box for those who want to read about it themselves. Like I said, it is not a very good news because every one of us wants to bring our dependent along with us when we come to the uk if it's possible and if it's not possible we want to try and come into the uk first and make way for them so that they can come and join us later so it is important for us to know about some speculations like this so that we can be active or so that we can be proactive and we can make adequate preparation now there are different routes through which people come into the united kingdom we have the skilled worker visa and we have the student's route, you know what I mean, which is the tier 4 visa. So a lot of people come through the tier 4 visa to study, but in recent, they are not coming to study in quote study. They are coming because they just want to relocate with their family, which the tier 4 visa or the tier 2 visa allows you. When you come into the UK, you can relocate with your family immediately or you can bring them as you come. But because they have been massive troop of students, Students, massive, massive troop of students from all over, especially from Nigeria and especially from India. And so they are saying this massive troop of students have made them have a lot of dependence. You know, like one man, one woman is coming with four kids. They are their legal children. You know what I mean? One man, one woman coming with three kids. So you see what they mean. So they, it has made the migration to really, really increase. So I'll read directly from here. The number of students bringing family members with them increased by 30% in 2022. The Department for Education, Home Office and Treasury are planning to prevent master students on a one-year course from bringing family members to the UK with them reports the financial time so if you're coming for masters and you're thinking of doing a one-year course this is a speculation but just have a reason you might just consider doing a two years master's course just think about it because this is a speculation but you have to be proactive this has not come into play so if you are one of those who is coming in by september or january it doesn't really affect you because this is a speculation like something that may happen but it's not very very soon so don't worry too much but just be aware so that if you are thinking from coming like maybe from next year september you can just say okay probably i should consider a master's of a two years course um because i want to bring in my family okay uh -huh. so that's just it so the uk net migration figures are predicted to show record high when they are released later in may so very soon we're going to get the uk migration record so this is putting pressure on the migration the number of students bringing families with them increased by 30% in 2022, making up 135,788 student visa. Almost 100,000 of these were granted to family members of Indian and Nigerian students so you see now i can tell you for free guys in the uk now getting an accommodation 
is difficult like everywhere you see immigrants i would say for sure that the uk is very welcoming to internationals they're very welcoming to people from all over the world i'll say for sure like currently where i live i'm currently based in kent i know of like 100 nigerians that lives around me if i say 100 this is not an understatement like i can literally leave my house five minutes walking distance and see my colleagues all over all over like sometimes i'm like am i in nigeria <laughs> like honestly the, the the migration has really 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 increased i think we have nigeria now in uk i think we have india now in uk which is good honestly but they are just feeling like it's something they might not be able to handle very soon because the migration is really 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 increasing and so because of that they are planning that students who are coming for a one year study course they're trying to see if they can prevent them from bringing their family members so like i said it's a speculation i'll drop the link for you to read so read about it and try to be proactive and try to take action and try to see what you can do about it in preparation so like if you're supposed to do a one year master's course probably you can consider doing a two years master course and i'll also say this for free um it is very important to also consider doing courses that are in very high demand in uk there are master's courses that are in very very high demand what do i mean by that if you do this master's courses that are in very high demand as you are finishing you are getting a job and as you're getting a job you are converting to take two visa which is the skilled worker visa like they can't even touch the skilled worker visa dependent because you're working in the uk you're legally working for them and you are controlling contributing massively to the economy i remember when my husband came to do masters in 2015 he came back to nigeria because he had a job in nigeria and then um, so his colleagues they didn't come back immediately they finished their master's program his colleagues they all came together to do their master's precisely in 2015 they got a job quickly and they converted to take two visa so all of them now have gotten their indefinite leave to remain because if you're on a t2 visa after five years you get your indefinite leave to remain and you're entitled to benefit as though you are a citizen of uk because you are already so if you're coming to do a master's please do courses that are lucrative courses that when you finish you would not have to look for job rather job will come looking for you at your doorstep like once you apply because there are courses that the uk values and they are in high demand okay so that is it guys so like i said it's just a speculation i don't want this video to be too long but i just want us to be proactive when we hear news like this so that we can be proactive all right so thank you very much for watching do where to share do where to like and do where to subscribe so i'll see you in my next video until i see you again keep being the best bye guys